Ghana now has some of the best STEM schools in the world. And these are some students from one of Ghana's first girls STEM schools. I feel very blessed, I feel very privileged being in this school because this school has a lot of equipment. Everything about this school is just modern, it's just superb. Every, I don't even feel like going to the house anyways. I always want to be in this school to be able to like learn. Like everything here is just good. Just don't feel like going home. My alma mater, which is University Junior High School, even though it was a big school, we're not having such kind of facilities or equipment. But being in this school, oh, it makes everything easier. For my school, if you're able to search for anything that is virtual or like anything that is virtual, meaning the ICT, the teacher has to use the phone, go around with it. But here, just can sit at the back and just view everything that is being shown from there. I'm very, I'm very, I'm very, very excited. Oh my God. Just excited to be in such a school. I'm just, it's mind blowing. <laughs> I'm lost of it. It's very amazing because whenever a teacher stands in front of you to teach, you understand it, even though the teacher wants to research something or do something he just stand here and he will just be pressing yes everything is no stress, no stress nothing wow. just, yeah. <laughs> he t the teacher teacher us so, we, so that we'll be able to understand everything wow in fact the school is amazing we are all happy being here and we thank the Honorable Minister for building such a school for us. We always want to come to the lab to learn because it's very great when we are learning here because we, we find everything easy because of the avocado board. Wow. And the man behind these STEM schools and the STEM education in the country is this man called Dr. Yao Osei Edwichung, who is the current Ghana's education minister. You know, tell me, Blair just wrote a piece uh, talking about uh, the fact that the British education system is not fit for the 21st century. But if, before Tony Blair wrote this piece, we've been talking about um, the 21st century education, we've been talking about the fourth industrial revolution and why we need to tweak, change, transform a high school a curriculum uh, to ensure that we can meet the goals of the 21st century. So if you look at what we are doing now, if you look at the STEM schools that are coming up, these are addition to the free senior high school intervention. Now we are creating a better opportunity for young men and women to go to high school and get quality education that they could not get in 2017. Ensuring that new senior high schools So, with so this is this video we are watching, this is where? This is Abomosu. So this is what? A Abomosu. This high. is a senior high school. Okay. At Abomosu. Community senior high school. No, this is a full boarding senior high school. Oh, uh, which is serving uh, going to serve students from across the country. And this is Nana Dudan Koku Fuado, free secondary education. Uh, this is um, the, one of the best in the world. Hey, it in looks fact, interesting. The, you, I, 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 I never saw any high school like this in America. We have made countless videos explaining the term STEM education. But in case you have not come across some of these videos, then the term STEM education stands for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education. This combination was introduced in 2001 by scientific administrators at the U.S. National Science Foundation. However, they previously used the acronym SMET when referring to the career field, but later on, it was rearranged by American biologist called Miss Judith Ramali, who was also the assistant director of education and human resources at the u.s national science foundation to form the stem acronym so up to now the stem focus curriculum has been extended to many countries beyond the united states and now ghana is doing it and they are doing it better than many countries across the globe stem education is becoming very important curriculum in ghana's education because this type of education creates critical thinking it also increased science literacy and again it creates the next generation of innovators that will lead this new world to help sustain Ghana and Africans economy. Merging science, technology, engineering and mathematics also helps to solve the challenges our world is facing today. And Ghana is leading in so many ways. So in this video, Honorable Dr. Yaose Educhum, who is Ghana's education minister, is here to give us the list of some STEM schools Ghana has built so far and why he is taking the STEM education to the next level. But before we listen to Honorable, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel for 
for more videos like this. Thank you very much for liking. Now, let's enjoy it together. Tell me, Blair just wrote a piece uh, talking about uh, the fact that the British education system is not fit for the 21st century. But before Tony Blair wrote this piece, we've been talking about um, the 21st century education. We've been talking about the fourth industrial revolution and why we need to tweak, change, transform a high school curriculum uh, to ensure that we can meet the goals of the 21st century. So if you look at what we are doing now, if you look at the STEM students that are coming up, this is addition to the free senior high school intervention. Now we are creating a better opportunity for young men and women to go to high school and get quality education that they could not get in 2017. High school? So explain that to us. Uh, well, uh, explaining means we have uh, STEM high schools under construction in this country. What is that, STEM high schools? Uh, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You see, in the 21st century, it's no longer the issue of just going to school. What you study was you are in school is so critical. You know, we have always trumpeted in this country the idea of uh, getting 60% of our students to do STEM or science-related courses at the university and 40% doing humanities. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the data, I think we were probably kidding around because how do you get 60% to do um, science or STEM-related courses at the university when at the high school only 12.5% are doing science? Mm -hmm. And especially in a country where if you do not do science... So these school, STEM schools you are building, mm. are you attaching it to Wesley Girls, Presex, or, or Kopoku? What, 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 what is it? Are you there more schools you're adding? You see, new schools have been built. Mm -hmm. Have been built. But one of the things that we also have to understand that in this country, uh, after 50 years, a school may not be performing better. Mm -hmm. We have only 54 high-performing schools in Ghana. Secondary schools. Secondary schools. Secondary mm schools. -hmm. Now with the Tibet added, it's about 1,000 plus senior high schools. Okay, so they put something school. on the screen. What's this? Can you walk us through this? Yes. This is Bosom Tree Girls. It's a, it's a it's senior a STEM, high? Yeah. It's a STEM it's school? A STEM high school. It's for girls only? Girls only. The first of its kind probably in Africa. School built okay. from scratch just for girls to focus on STEM. So is this a boarding school? Yes, a boarding school. They are focused on engineering, biomedical sciences, computer engineering, computer science. And, and it has, um, it's open. Uh, this year, and this one of the Kufuado, uh, President the Kufuado, and this is in Bosom Tree. This in is Bosom Tree. Happens to be my constituency. Yeah. And this is a smaller oh. version. What are of, they excited the about in this group. photograph? Oh, you see, and they are getting at the attention of the world. Mm -hmm. Different people are coming from all over the world to visit them. So this was a delegation from Belgium that went there and gave them robotic kits and did a workshop for them. And this is uh, what was going on at the time. They were super excited. Oh, I see. This is their library. Uh, mm -hmm. This is the new normal in Ghana, that no school opens without a library being built for it. So we don't want to open schools where you don't have library, and you call it a high school. So libraries are being built for all the new schools. So, so this, is, this video we are watching, this is where? This is Abomosu. So this is what? A Abomosu. This is a senior high school okay. at Abomosu. Community senior high school? No, this is a full boarding senior high school, oh, uh, which is serving, uh, going to serve students from across the country. And this is Nana Dudanko Kufuado, free secondary education. Uh, this is um, the, one of the best in the world. Hey, it in looks fact, interesting. The, you, I, I, I never saw any high school like this in America. This school is it's better a than school. high school. And it's new, Abomosu new. Secondary School. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Abomosu Secondary Abomosu. School. Was STEM. The, who's this? STEM High School. Uh, that happens to be, uh, I think, Municipal Director of Education. And these are the classrooms. Uh, these schools are better are built and configured and uh, well structured than most senior high schools around the world. In fact, oh, this is interesting. You don't have these high schools in Singapore, and we but, have them in Ghana. But how but, many? But how many are you going to get? How many of this? There are nine of this, and the nine of this are coming. Oh, that's person. the boarding house. That's the bathroom for yeah, the bathrooms, house. Yeah, bathrooms, everything. And you see, the good news is Why that. Why are you making a boarding, by the way? This is the, what dormitory with the beds. The, the, the beds are there. Yes. Yeah. So now everything is ready, and and you, you know. Uh, one of the beautiful things is that this school has 12 science labs. This school has more science labs than Presec. 12? Yes. But if you don't operate this school like Presec, right, uh -huh. after 20 years, it will never come close to Presec. So what are we doing now? What we are doing now is that we are doing school affiliation, as you mentioned earlier. In fact, this school is affiliated with Presec. Mm -hmm. 
the headmaster there now was assistant headmaster of Presec. So you are taking the assistant headmaster from Presec to go and be headmaster at Abomosu? At Abomosu. To bring the Odadia culture? That is it. Because mm -hmm. the, the point of the matter is this. If you do not intentionally build the Odadia culture in this school, this school will never become Oda, like Odadia, even though it has better facilities than Odadia. That's true. So the leadership element has to be strengthened. Bring all the best practices at Presec. Even though this is not a mission school, it doesn't hurt if the Presbyterians gives you a chaplain mm -hmm. at this school. Mm -hmm. So everything that makes Presec tech, put them here. And when you're able to do that, in about five to ten years, you're going to get another Presec. So you are no longer going to depend on the 54 schools uh, to meet the needs of the best and brightest in this nation. You have to make a conscious effort to make, uh, ensure that all the new schools are affiliated. We have one school coming at Akrodie in Ahafo. You are affiliated with St. James. Mm -hmm. St. James is one of the top performing schools in this country. In no time, it will become like St. James. So you're putting the pressure on the 54, you're reducing the pressure on the 54 schools. You are duplicating the 54 schools. Yes, yes, schools. the 54 schools. And then you begin to look at the existing schools that are struggling, mm -hmm. won't affiliation work. Aguna Nyakrum Senior High School is one of the top schools in the country now. You know why? No. It's an obscure school, but they got an assistant headmistress from Wesley Girls, who happened to be uh, as, uh, as a, a, a deputy brought that assistant headmistress to uh, uh, Agrani Yankrum and now it's one of the best schools in the country. So the thing Manfi is that is, oh yes. human beings matter. Matter. Leadership matter. Manfi Methodist girl did not just become Manfi Methodist girl. It took intervention of somebody from a high performing school who go there, went there, brought leadership into focus and became Manfi Methodist girls. So if you make, don't make a concerted effort in seeding new schools with the DNA of existing high performing schools, you will put up this school. It's one of the best in the world, but the outcomes is not going to be one of the best in the world. You know, there are 48 high schools in Ghana, as I speak with you, um, that are going through transformation. Mm -hmm. And they, um, uh, they are getting support from MasterCard Foundation. Oh, that's and, interesting. And, and before the transformation began, uh, those 48 schools, if your child goes there, you have a 1% or less chance of going to the university. Wow. Those schools are 1% pass rate or less. Wow. Some has zero percent pass rate. If you don't make a conscious effort of transforming these schools, you are not going to get the outcome that we need for education to play its rightful role as the most important socioeconomic transformation agent. So bottom line is that at this Ministry of Education, uh, with the full support of the president, we are making secondary education better. And we are actually moving, working backwards to say junior high school should be strengthened so that I can have a true quality six-year secondary education to put Ghana's education on the map, make us competitive like the rest of the world, if not better than, than Vietnam and other nations that are emerging. So yes, access has been improved, no doubt. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to increase the enrollment uh, in senior high schools uh, from 800,000 that we inherited to now 1.3 million. So it's huge improvement in access. But we are now looking at quality. And then from quality, you look at the relevance of the education. That is where STEM comes in. And that is where STEAM comes in. Science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. The Quadraso uh, uh, STEAM High School. The Quadraso is that creative, Quadraso on our screen? Creative Arts. They have buildings like this, but this is still a And the okay. Quadraso School, they have similar facilities. It's Quadraso a, is, a, is a secondary creative school. Creative Arts, yes. Yeah, but I'm, why are you doing Creative Arts at secondary level? Mm. If you go to Los the, Angeles... The School of Performing Arts at the University of Ghana is, is at the university yeah, level. Yeah. You go to um, Los Angeles. Is that quite as under construction? Yes. Okay. You go to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. You have a school for the arts. At the secondary level? At the secondary level. Students audition to get in there. They become the movie actors of the world because of the early... Uh, so you are going uh, to be auditioning uh, GSS uh, graduates. To get in here. To get to Abomosu SSE. No, to get uh, to Kwadaso. To Kwadaso SSE to yes. do creative, creative arts, arts. At Film, SSE level. Oh, yeah. Films. You see, the point You're of, going to have studios there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Top of the line studios. You see, the interesting We do accounting in high school, right? Yes. So why can't we do a film in high school? Why are we not doing engineering yeah. in high school? In England, they do law in high school. Oh, yes. 
I taught law in high school in Los Angeles. Yeah, for one did. year, I taught law. Yeah. And it was so exciting. Here, you only get aspects of law if you do management. Management had, had a component mm -hmm. of law. But the bottom line is that if you look at the Creative Arts High School and the fact that you are going to expose these children at a younger age to the Creative Arts, you know the, the 10,000 hour rule, which says that mm -hmm. if you focus on something okay. and do it from an early, day, you, early 10, age, 10,000 hours. hours, you become an expert in it. People may call you a genius, but it's because you've put in you've so it for, much for the same effort. time. So, so, and also, the good news is that you're going to get children who are truly interested in the industry going to the school. Mm -hmm. And consequently, it's not going to be an afterthought that I applied to go to school of administration. I didn't get accepted, and they gave me the school of performing arts, and I went. Yeah, because you are coming to performing arts because you were in Quadraso. So that's your focus. That's your focus. And no, no matter how many A's you get, that's where you want to go. That's where you want to go. Very but interesting. Then, but the interesting thing is that you can also decide to go and pursue medicine. Because that school also have 12 labs. And oh, the quad are so Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't want a situation where the best and brightest men decide not to pursue creative art because they want to be doctors. You see, the best engineers in the world are the ones who can play music. Yes. So you can still go here and decide not to pursue creative arts and be able, by virtue of the courses that you've taken, be able to pursue a course in engineering, medicine, or any other field. But you'll be solid with your foundation, a well-rounded, educated individual, because of your exposure to the arts and exposure to the sciences at the same time. And that is the new philosophy, that you can scale high school students, and in fact, do students from here can secure a job in the movie industry. And the movie industry sometimes yeah. pays more than doctors. Of course. By I mean, far. Na, na, you know, I was telling a, a couple of friends of mine that in Ghana, when we went to school, we only taught three professions. Mm. Lawyer, uh -huh. doctor, mm. engineer. That is it. Later on, we added architect. Yes. So if you cannot be doctor, you cannot be lawyer, you cannot be engineer, you are dumb. And, and, and that's yeah. how we grew up. So it limits our employment opportunities. And then we spend our time watching Nigerian movies. And we spend our money watching Nigerian movies. That money doesn't come to Ghanaians. And it goes it, to Nigeria because they have built an industry. It, it, and in Legon, we laugh at them at theaters. We call them dondology. Because people do not aspire to be there. Very few people aspire to be Clever there. Clever people don't aspire to be no, there no, because they, they are told go and do medicine. That is it. But in terms of even driving government policy, theater mm. arts is far more important than medicine. And, it's far and, more important and, and, than law. And you know, one interesting thing is that now with Netflix and all these things, yes. you can produce a movie here to be watched around, around the, world. the world. And the money will come to Ghana. Mm. And also, the reason why we really want to make sure the sciences is integrated into this is the idea of sci-fi movies. Mm -hmm. Science-based movies. Okay, that so this, in this part of school, you're going to have the science as well. Oh, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sound engineers. Oh, yeah, sound engineers will be there. At SSS level. At SSS level. This is a watershed moment for this nation. And another Dan Kwa is making a serious down payment on how you build a strong, uh, serious creative art industry with the requisite skill set coming through the secondary education system. Wow, amazing. This is a very good and laudable initiative. But one thing I didn't hear was teachers, because teachers are also going to play a very important role in this initiative and the entire educational system. So Honorable, next time, let us know what you and the government are doing to make teachers happy. Because if teachers are not happy, this whole thing is going nowhere. So thank you very much for watching this episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions inside the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Haruna. Please subscribe and have a joyful life. Macrao.